The state of Meghalaya is located in the northeast of India and is often referred to as the abode of the clouds. It is blessed with abundant rainfall, green forests, rolling hills, meandering streams and cascading waterfalls which are scattered all over its 22,000 square kilometers of land. Formed in 1972, Meghalaya is home to the Garos, Jaintias and Kasi tribes, each having their own unique culture and tradition. The Northeastern Council is the nodal agency for the socio-economic development of the Northeast region. The Council's inception in 1971 marked the beginning of a new chapter for planned and systematic developmental growth in the region and has been responsible in setting in motion new endeavors aimed at addressing hardships, thereby removing handicaps that stood in the way of development. The Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, has been instrumental in formulating policies that assist in the development of the region. The Act East policy of 2015 is set to promote economic cooperation, cultural ties and develop strategic relations with countries in the Asia-Pacific region, enhance connectivity and make the Northeast region a priority for development. Since its inception, the Northeastern Council has focused on improving connectivity in the Northeast region. The capital city of Shillong is linked with an airport located in Umroy. Though constructed in the 1960s, the airport became operational in the 1970s. The NEC in recent years has provided funds for the extension of the runway and other activities, thereby easing the travels of many passengers in the region. Yeah, Silong is the capital of the Meghalaya and uh, as we, all of you know that uh, Silong basically attracted by the lot of tourists from the, all over the country. And uh, last year uh, the Silong airport was connected by, uh, to the Calcutta and it was weekly six days. But this year uh, Silong is connected seven days week uh, from the Calcutta uh, and uh, it is a regular flight. Silong Airport has got the two refill, refilling facility. Both Indian Oil and Health VPCL has established their uh, refilling facility here. And as a result, uh, load factor for the Air India has been increased. Earlier, what happens? Airlines used to uh, or, uh, reduce its load factor due to the non availability of refilling facility here. But after getting the refilling facility, uh, load factor has been increased as a as result passengers uh, uh, passenger taking capacity of the Air India has been increased. Recently under Udan scheme, uh, RCS flight started the operation on the month of uh, May, uh, on the month of April 26th, connecting the Agartala as well as Dimapur and Silang is the hub for the RCS flight operations. And shortly again, we are also expecting more and more aircrafts or more and more flights under the RCS scheme. The airport is, uh, we are uh, trying to improve the basic infrastructure of the airport. With the growth of Shillong City, Several infrastructural developments have been undertaken to accommodate people from across the Northeast who visit the city for education, work, healthcare, or other reasons. The establishment and construction of the interstate bus terminus is a crucial step in vision to ease traveling in and out of Shillong. The NEC has supported the construction and establishment of the ISBT at Maulai Maoyong.
Meghalaya's scenic beauty has attracted tourists from different parts of the country and the world. While famous for being the wettest place on earth, Meghalaya is also famous for the cave systems found here. The Northeastern Council has played a vital role in supporting the tourism sector. Since 2007, the council has contributed around 39.6 crore rupees to the sector in various ways, through infrastructure development, publicity, capacity building and training. Marngar Lake is one such tourist spot that the NEC has supported. Located approximately 7 kilometers from the Reebhoi district headquarters, with a detour from the Gohati Shillong Highway, the place attracts many local and non-local visitors. We have a beautiful place here, and we get financial assistance from departments like the tourism department, so we can construct this boathouse, the huts, the bridge, and even procure some boats as well. We are extremely thankful to the tourism department for giving us the financial aid. I like coming to this place, Mangar Lake as it is known. We did not have places where we could come and relax with friends and family. This is an ideal place for us to come to, especially those of us with families, who expect us to take them out on holidays. The road is also good. We came. Uh, the weather is different from Guwahati. We came from Guwahati. Uh, the pollution is not. Pollution is very. There we have very pollution in Guwahati. Yeah, very nil. Uh, the weather condition is very cool. Yeah, than Guwahati. The tribes inhabiting the state of Meghalaya have their own unique culture and traditions, which often manifest in the form of dance and festivities. The Wangala dance of the Garo people, Bedding Klam festival of the Jaintias, or the Nongkrem dance of the Kasis, are some of the major festivals that attract visitors. Through the years, the Northeastern Council has helped in promoting the dances and festivals of the region. While promotion is important, Preservation of the cultures is vital in this changing world. The NEC has been able to contribute to one of the major tourist attractions of Meghalaya in recent years, the Don Bosco Community Information Centre Museum. The museum is a venture by the Salesians of Don Bosco aimed at the preservation and promotion of numerous indigenous cultures of the region. The Don Bosco Centre for Indigenous Cultures or Don Bosco Museum is an indigenous museum in which we try to preserve the various cultures, cultural aspects, etc. of the Northeastern states. Northeastern states have a very different reality, let's put comparing to that of the rest of India. Here we have so many tribes or cultural communities, sub-tribes, etc. The NEC, Northeastern Council, was approached by us some years ago for some help. The idea was to create a new gallery in which we would send out teams to the various states and cultural groups of Northeast India, take their photographs and convert these photographs into paintings to have, to present to everybody the, way it's the various cultural faces or tribal faces of people. It was a project approved by them 
and uh, we were sanctioned that money through the art and culture government of meghalaya The Northeastern Council's support to the Northeast region extends to the human resource development and employment sector, which is a crucial sector in addressing employment issues faced by the youth of the Northeast region. The NEC funded the construction of a building for skill development at Ramakrishna Mission Vivekananda Cultural Center, where youth are able to attend classes and receive training on varied subjects. The cost of constructing a multi-storied building came to 3.93 crore rupees out of which the NEC's share was 90%. The NEC also provided full funding of 2.5 crore rupees for the procurement of state of the art teaching equipment computers and peripherals for the labs and furniture for the classrooms. The Northeastern Council also supports governments and institutions by way of infrastructure development. At the Ganesh Das Government Maternal and Child Health Hospital in Shillong, the NEC helped construct the intensive care unit for the benefit of the patients. This is uh, actually a mater maternal and child health hospital, the only uh, maternal and child health hospital in uh, Shillong. Uh, initially, the hospital name was uh, Ganesh Das Hospital, but uh, it has been changed recently to Ganesh Das Government Maternity and Child Health Hospital. This uh, IC was inaugurated on the 2nd of December in uh, 2011. Uh, uh, the NEC uh, had uh, actually uh, funded the structure, the equipments and all the facilities that are uh, available in this ICU. So 90% of the funding was from the NEC and the 10% was from the state government. NDC has really, uh, really helped our ICU because uh, initially, before 2011, there was no ICU. So most of the uh, seriously ill patients had to be uh, those who could not manage, uh, could not uh, afford to go to the private hospitals or the higher centers where better facilities are available are uh, just kept in the ward. Uh, coming of this ICU, we have been able to uh, provide uh, uh, optimal health to the patients, especially those who cannot afford care or those who cannot go to other higher centers. And uh, we have seen uh, the presence of this ICU has really benefited the patients. Many patients who were uh, especially referred in very bad conditions from the peripheral areas when they come here with the optimal care and with the uh, advanced uh, technology and equipments that we have, they have uh, recovered and we have seen many of them being satisfied and also when they are shifted to the ward, then when they go back, they are, you know, we get the feedback that uh, they were very, very satisfied with the uh, health uh, service that has been provided out here. The constitution of the Northeastern Council marked the beginning of a new chapter for development in the region. It has been instrumental in assisting and promoting various regional institutes like the Regional Dental College Guwahati, the Regional Institute of Medical Sciences and many others. The Northeastern Space Application Center Shillong is one such institute established way back in 1983, 
with an aim to provide developmental support to the Northeast region using space science and technology. Uh, Northeastern Space Application Centre was established in 2000 as a joint initiative of Department of Space and Northeastern Council, mainly uh, bringing the space applications and its support for the whole Northeast. NEC has funded Northeastern District Resource Plan, Space Based Information uh, Kiosk, SBIC, uh, basically developing a natural resource database so that this database is used for district resource plan. It is also recognized by an award, e governance award, uh, in a recent year. The Northeastern Council has funded the Northeastern Spatial Data Repository, which is a centralized data resource handy for decision making. NASAC has further developed an NEC project monitoring portal for effective monitoring. Additionally, it has also ventured into UAV remote sensing through the support of the NEC. The Northeast Police Academy, which was set up in 1978 in the village of Umsau in Meghalaya, is one such body. Spread over 205 acres, the institute is dedicated to teaching and training personnel from the northeastern states, and it can boast of having produced a large number of graduates since its inception. Nepal is one institution under the Ministry of Home Affairs where where, where you can get all the information regarding police speed. See, you, you, have, you have been trained here to become a tough police officer in the near future, so indoor, a bit indoor, a bit outdoor. You've been trained uh, properly, and, uh, and I'm learning, like compared to my civil work prior to this, like being a, being as a layman, prior to this, I was not so, not so much, not much into discipline and all this stuff, but coming here, being a part of NEPA, they have taught me to uh, obey discipline, how to, uh, how to, uh, how to dress up yourself. And besides that, I've been learning uh, so many things about uh, the legal perspective of policing, which, which, which is very helpful and it's going to be very useful for me in the near future when I become a police officer. The Northeastern Police Academy was set up in uh, 1978 and it initially started functioning under the uh, NEC, as a project of the NEC. Subsequently, it was uh, brought under donor and then from 2007, we are functioning as a subsidiary office of the uh, Ministry of Home Affairs of the Government of India. basic uh, primary mandate of NEPA is to provide the basic induction training for the directly recruited sub-inspectors and the deputy superintendents of police of the northeastern states. But besides that, uh, we also uh, provide uh, training to uh, officers from constable up to IG rank of all the states of the country. This is the in-service training. and. Uh, we cover a wide range of topics from VIP security to computers to cyber forensics to mobile forensics to uh, explosive courses. In the past few years, we have also been uh, training officers from across the border. We have uh, trained 40 officers from Bangladesh uh, last year. And this year, uh, this month, in fact, we had our first uh, group of trainees from Myanmar.
I have been involved here uh, with uh, the training since uh, 2011. We have been involved in many types of courses. One is the operation of uh, disaster management course and one is the uh, TOT courses. The Northeastern Council has contributed and supported Meghalaya in varied sectors like agriculture, industries, tourism, information and public relations, education, the social service sector and many others. The Honourable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi on his maiden visit to the village of Mauplam interacted with local artists and described the culture of Meghalaya as spectacular. He also hailed the efforts of the people in conserving the sacred groves in the village. Incidentally, the Northeastern Council has been supplementing the efforts of the people by providing financial assistance for the conservation and development of the groves. The efforts of the Government of India to have an agency specifically involved and constituted for the development of the region has been vital in uplifting the people and the state of Meghalaya as a whole.